Okay, we're going to talk about uh, these uh, planar boards. This is a planar boat. Uh, this is a Big John Otter boat, they call it. Same concept. Uh, you'll see a lot of these used in the walleye fishing communities, but uh, this we're going to apply to trout fishing. Uh, and it's very effective. Uh, get your presentations away from the boat and used properly, uh, it can result in some nice fish. I'll go through the uh, setup, uh, how I've worked in this system on my boat. Uh, there's a few components involved and uh, once you get it uh, applied it's not too difficult to use and certainly solves a lot of problems that you might have uh, trying to fish these conditions. There's uh, some links to the various uh, components on the application of this uh, and they'll be down in the description for you to review if you need. That's another fish. So uh, side planers, planer boards, uh, I use them uh, this time of year especially, it's uh, kind of a late winter, early spring uh, presentation and a lot of times fish are up on the surface and uh, they'll be spooked by the boat. So uh, it's nice to have a presentation that you can have uh, where the boat pushes the uh, fish away from it, from the noise, and now you have your bait out away from the boat where the fish are. Uh, so that's one of the strategies on this. A couple different ways of accomplishing it. Uh, these are the little uh, in water, they, they go on the line and they uh, go through the water. They have a clip on it. Uh, that attaches to the line and then your line goes through uh, another uh, clip and so when the fish it's going through the water uh, and then when the fish uh, is on the line oops, actually it's this way uh, so it'd be going on the water away from you like this and then the, the fish would be on the line and it would uh, it's going to be going in this direction uh, that way uh, and it's gonna hit the you can pull your line and release the, the line out of the clip uh, but this stays on the line and so this is in the water with you with the fish uh, your line goes back to it uh, you have to have some kind of a stop ahead of your bait presentation so that this doesn't end up slapping the fish around and uh, you lose a fish uh, because of that. It's a lot of uh, static in the water, it's a lot of uh, friction that you're fighting along with this fish. Uh, and so that's the disadvantage to it. It eventually goes down the line, uh, it's in the water with the fish, and now you're fighting this as well as the fish, so it kind of takes away from the, from the fight that the fish is giving you. So uh, I've moved on from these, although I like the concept of them and I can catch fish with them. Uh, I've moved on to uh, the boats. And these are substantial. They're big unit that goes through the water on its own. There's a clip that attaches to it. Uh, and then it is out and away from the boat. And I'll show you that later in the video. Uh, what that looks like. Fairly big, a little bulky in the boat to carry around. Uh, once you get them in the water, they're not a problem. It's got a reel uh, that has uh, the line on it that attaches to the unit itself. And there's a cable that comes out of the reel. has a clip to it, like a downrigger ball clip. 
basically. There we go. And it comes through a little guide. Get a little extra line to it. Clips to the boat. Clip through to the boat. And now put it in the water and sail it away from the boat. And it maintains the distance away from the boat and a line that now goes out to it. Uh, fairly heavy duty line. Then you have a clip. I like these releases as well as any of them. I've got several different kinds. Uh, these are good for uh, on the trout uh, that we've been getting because they release pretty easily, uh, but they hold on well enough to make a hook set. These are just basically uh, shower curtain old school hooks. And then you, they open up, you put them on the line, and then you send it down put your line in the release like you would in a downrigger and then it sends down the line and uh, goes as far down the line as you'd like it. The, uh, you set the pull up. Uh, usually you want to twist the line a little bit and then put it in there so it doesn't want to travel through. Uh, but uh, you put the pull in the pull holder, let the line out and uh, whatever uh, line you give it, that's how far away from the boat it'll be, although the boat might be further than this is. I usually like to um, run these down very close to the boat uh, just because it seems to give me a better hook set on it. There's no belly in the line, and so the chance of a f the resistance to the fish so that it gets a hook in its mouth and, and purchases uh, seems to be more effective. Uh, and then you can adjust this. It's got a crank to it. You adjust that in and out to how far you want the boat away from you. I've got it close to me where I'm trolling with my downriggers. Um, and then that way I can adjust it in and out if I'm getting close to shore, some another boat comes by, whatever. I've got a pretty quick response uh, where I can get at this thing. I've got a... Uh, some nuts on the back of this that I use to attach it and then I'll attach it to my bimini top and I've got a little hole drilled in the middle of the bimini top and then there's a, a screw that I have coming through this bra uh, bracket so the bracket comes apart it fits in there and then that keeps it from wanting to twist uh, as I'm going down and then the nuts keep it from uh, falling off. There's also a little velcro strap that uh, goes up onto the tower and then from that there's a little swivel and a carabiner sits on that swivel uh, and that gives the line the correct angle so that it comes in and out of the reel more uh, cleanly. I'll put a link to uh, all those items in the description below as well if you need to find those. I've got it uh, through the bimini top so it doesn't move around a whole lot. It's close to where I'm working uh, uh, my baits. Uh, you've got a control here that's line out, brings line in to whatever you want. And then it's got a couple points where it stops into a point where it nests. And then that keeps it from uh, going out any further. And then you take your, uh, once your line's out there, you take your uh, line, you twist it, you put it in the jaws like you would a downrigger clip, and uh, put it on there, take your shower curtain clip, put it in there, and then uh, send it down the line. And then it'll go down towards the boat, uh, the planer board uh, boat, and Sometimes it'll stall part way out, and so uh, it's just the belly and the line uh, between the two boats uh, will uh, cause it to want a, a static and stall. Uh, what I do is I'll just take the line and draw it towards me and then let it go and then release line on my uh, pull at the same time, and it'll start traveling down the line again until you get it. Uh, wherever you want it on the line. I like it near the boat. 
but you can run two or three lines on these. So if you had this line out and you could have three clips and three different lines going out to each of these clips at different distances away from the boat if you wanted to cover more water. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of uh, that option in uh, where we're fishing because you have a two pole limit. But that is an option. Uh, if that's the case, you have more people you know, on the boat and you want to try to get stuff spread around. So that's the system. How now, uh, when I'm doing this, uh, I'm fishing for trout, uh, typically where I'm at, uh, and trout that are fairly shallow, uh, typically, and you know close enough to the surface that the boat disturbs them. Uh, and so what I'd like to do uh, is a uh, hybrid lead core presentation. So I might have uh, uh, three different poles and they're all set up with different uh, uh, lead core uh, lengths on them. I'll have a, one pole has one color of lead core, one another with two colors of lead core, maybe one with three colors of lead core. I've got a J Fair line one that has a half a color of lead core on it. So you have uh, some options on presentation so that you can get those down to depths uh, where that might be more effective on the fishing. And so you can kind of you know, depending on circumstances, you can use that as uh, throwing some options out there in your bait presentation. So that's very handy for that. The other thing that it does with a lead core presentation is uh, if I'm running four lines and I'm trying to run two lines out the back of the boat that are lead core or even one that's out the back that's lead core, uh, almost without fail you'll get a fish off a downrigger line. So I'll have a one line down on the downrigger, fish comes up on that, I release it, I'm bringing it in, and sure enough, it swims inexorably to that lead core line and tangles it, which is just a nightmare. So uh, by having your lead core lines out on the side boards, then you can, uh, get well away from this fish as you're bringing it in and battling it, uh, it comes out of play and makes life a lot more enjoyable. One less thing to worry about and one less tangle to have. Same thing with uh, as you're turning the boat, when you're trying to maneuver around, if you're trying to stay in fish that might be in a tight area. Uh, because you're spread out so far uh, with your lines, you have a capability of turning uh, and getting back into the bait and just presenting a more uh, a varied uh, speeds to your lures and that might trigger a bite. Uh, the other thing that happens in uh, Pyramid Lake especially, uh, you'll have uh, wave action, you have substantial wave action, you, know, you might have a foot and a half of uh, chop on the water and it acts, these, these uh, boats will uh, pulse when they're on the water like that. So they'll come up on a wave and they'll hit the top of it like a surfer and then they'll shoot down the wave. And so that also gives that line like you're stripping it. It's very good presentation. A lot of times that'll trigger a bite too. So it comes out to be a very effective uh, strategy that I've been uh, using to some success. this was helpful to you uh, and you find it uh, applicable in, in your fishing out there uh, tight lines and if you enjoyed it please hit the like and hit the subscribe button that really helps me out thanks so much